What is up guys, DeckerCrafter here, and today we're going to be doing a few things. One, installing Pixelmon. Two, creating a Pixelmon server. And three, port forwarding, which you can pretty much use for any game server. But in this case, we're going to be port forwarding our Minecraft server. So uh, let's get right into it. First things first. Yeah, we need to download the Technic Launcher. So you're going to go to the link down in the description. All the links for this video are going to be down in the description. So don't worry, guys. I'll have it there for you. Now, first things first, we're going to go to this website. We're going to hit, scroll down here, download. If you have a Mac, download for Mac. If you've got Linux, download for Linux. Um, but this tutorial is only for Windows. So in this case, Windows. You're just going to hit download. You're going to keep whatever. I'm going to discard it because I already have it. Once you've downloaded that, you're just going to place it on your desktop. We're going to launch the Technic Launcher now. Launch, launch, launch. Yeet! And then we're going to go to Mod Packs. After you sign into your Minecraft account, sign in with your actual Minecraft account because don't worry, Technic's safe. It's just a Mod Pack. Uh, or they have Mod Packs on Technic. And then you're going to search for a pack. We're just going to type in, well, it's already here on mine, but for you, you're going to have to search for it. Type in Pixel Mon Re. And then you'll see Pixelmon Reforged pop up. You're just going to click on that and click install. I already have it installed, so obviously I don't need to do that. Now you guys have Pixelmon. Ready for step two? That's right. Real quick, we're going to create a Pixelmon server. First things first, guys. You're going to need to go over to Minecraft Forge. Now I'm going to have a link for this website down in the description as well. So make sure to head down to the description so you can download it. First things first, we're going to scroll down. And since Pixelmon Reforged, the mod, is on Forge 2838, Make sure you check which one it's on at the time of watching this video because it can change. We're going to go here. We're going to scroll down until we see 2838 oh, right here. And you're just going to click installer. All right. You're going to click on the installer and you're going to download that. It's going to take you here. You're going to skip the ads a couple times and it'll start your download. And I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do this. All right. That's how you get your reforge or your forge. Once you've got that, we're just going to open up our downloads folder. Here it is here, already magically downloaded. Perfect. Next thing's next. We're going to throw it on our desktop. Next thing you need to download is Pixelmon Reforged. So you're just going to go to the website, link down in the description, like the last two sites, and you're going to hit download. That's literally it. You're just going to hit download. You're going to skip a couple uh, ads. I have ad blockers. So you're not seeing them on here. You're welcome. Um, and then it's going to download. Once it downloads, whew, we're just going to go to our download folder and throw it onto our desktop. Yep, desktop. I, I said desktop. I promise. All right. Then you're done with this website. Look, we're already, we're already mostly done. All right, this is, this, this is the quick part now. What we're gonna do, also guys, if you wanna play Minecraft or any server with your friends, including this Pixelmon server, you will need to port forward. So please continue watching the video until the very end. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is run this. You're gonna install server, all right? Click install server. It's gonna have you select where your server file is. You see here on my desktop, I have the YouTube tutorial server. So I'm just going to click here, click desktop, YouTube tutorial server, open, and click OK. Now it's going to take this empty folder here, and it's going to install a bunch of stuff into it. See if we refresh. All right, well, we're just going to close that. It's going to download. It's going to take a minute to download. I'm not sure how long a minute is, but it's just going to take a minute. While I'm waiting for this to download, guys, please drop a like on this video and hit subscribe. I try to keep my tutorials short and to the point and very easy to follow. The reason being is a lot of people have really long videos that don't need to be that long. And it's simply for the view time and so that you have to stick around and watch more ads. I don't do videos like that. So if you want quick, easy tutorials that are, well, just nice in general, go ahead and smash the subscribe button for me. Seriously, it'll really help out. More than 99% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. And please drop a like, share it with your friends that are also interested. And uh, let's get back into this because it looks like it's about to be finished. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on. Finish, 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 finish. Woo! Successfully downloaded the Minecraft server. All right, YouTube server tutorial. All right, so you see this in here. So first things first, we're going to create a new text document, 
just like that. We're going to title it run. Okay. Once you do that, I already have it. So I'm just going to replace it. This is what you want it to say. You want it to say this, this is running a server with two gigs of RAM. You can change this number to as many megabytes as you want, as long as you have the gigs of RAM within your computer. But you just want to pretty much have this. That's also going to be down in the description. You can just copy and paste it. Now, this is the name of the file that it's going to be looking for, server.jar. Obviously, we do not have a server.jar here. So you're going to take the forge 1.12.2, whatever it is at the time of you doing this, and you're just going to retitle it server. That's it. It's really that easy. Now we're going to open up this text document again, file, save as, and we're going to put run, and then you're just going to add .bat, .bat to it, and then you're going to hit save. And that's it. Once you do that, you'll see this new file appear. All right. You just want to double click this and it will start running. Now, first time running, it's going to run through and then it's going to crash. You see this message here. You need to accept the EULA. Press any key to continue. You're just going to bam. Open up this file that it now has in here. And you're going to change this to true. This is pretty much you just agreeing to Minecraft's rules. But nobody reads it anyway. Then we're going to get click run again. Now it's going to run. And now it's starting up your server. Now your friends can't play on this server yet. Only you can. So... In just a minute, after we finish setting up the server, I'm going to show you how you can have your friends connect, so please continue watching the video. Just have to wait for this to load. It's probably going to take a little while, not too long though. It's preparing the spawn. After it does this, it's going to say done, and then the server is technically up. But it is not a Pixelmon server just yet. So once this finishes, done. Now we're going to type in STOP or stop. Every time you close your server, you're going to want to do this because it'll automatically save and you don't want to lose what you've been doing on your server. And then you can close that out. Now you'll have a mods folder. Your mods folder, you just want to open that up, take your Pixelmon mod that you have downloaded and throw it in there. Now you have a Pixelmon server. Do you see how easy that was? How quick that was? I don't know why there's 20 minute tutorials on YouTube when you can do it in just a couple, couple seconds, a couple minutes, right? Man, these YouTubers out here just, they just want your money. No, nah, they just want your view time. It's messed up, bro. Anyway, now what I would recommend doing is deleting the world as well because it created a world without Pixelmon, so some of the ores probably didn't load in. So you just want to delete the world and then run it again. Do, 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 do. This is, this is real easy, real quick. I just want it to start again. It's going to create a new world. I'm trying to show you guys this as quick as I can. If you guys need me to stop, I know I'm talking fast and doing this a little bit fast. It's because I don't want to waste your precious time. Just pause the video or go back. Skip to the parts you need, parts you don't need, whatever. Um, and... If you are just sitting here watching me waiting for this to load, remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe for me. Seriously, it would help out a lot. All right, sometimes when running the server, you'll notice there, there's a couple errors here and there, some in yellow, there might be one in red. You can typically ignore these, all right? It's not a big deal. I do recommend, though, running a Pixelmon server with more than two gigs of RAM, um, but for the sake of this tutorial we're just doing two kids of ram and this message server can't keep up that's because we're only running on two gigs of ram so it's kind of hard for it to process everything right but that's okay you can ignore that honestly the server will still work just fine um all right so we finished our server's up now if we go into technic and we click play We're just loading up our now Pixelmon client. You have to keep, guys, you have to keep this open in order for the server to work, okay? This is how the server is gonna run. That is your server, essentially. Uh, this white box, all right? So leave that open. If you close it, you won't be able to connect to your server because you just close the server. But yeah, we're pretty much just gonna wait for Minecraft to open. Um. 
Come on, come on, come on, quicker, quicker, quicker. All right, while we're waiting for this, I'm going to show you guys the next step because, like I said before, I don't like wasting your time. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this load for no reason. So we're going to type in CMD into our search. That opens up the command prompt. All right. Next things. Next thing you want to do is type in IP. This is how you're going to port forward, by the way, guys. You're going to type in IP config. I just got a new keyboard, so bear with me. Sometimes my typing is a little bit slower on this. All right, now we've got this open. We can just minimize Minecraft for the time being. IP config. You see this default gateway, this bottom number here, that 10001. Not the one with the letters, but the 10001. That's what you want to connect to. You also need to know your IPv4, your 1000. For me, it's 100133. All right, you need to know that number too. So next thing you want to do is open up here, and we're going to go to 10.0.0.1, all right? Now, you're going to log in with your default router information. Whoever set up the router in your house is going to know this. If you don't know the default um, router information um, and you set up your internet, you can just go on Google, type in the name of your router, and see what the default username and password is. In this case, I have it changed, but we're just going to hit login. Then we're going to go to advanced and because I have Xfinity, it's a little bit different for me. It's going to send me to this other website. So I'm going to click on that. For you guys, you're all going to probably just do it within that 10001 area. Um, but don't worry. I'll show you guys what you need to do. Now I'm going to go to advanced settings. Make sure you guys turn off advanced security if you have Xfinity. Okay. Because it'll block your server from working. Now we're going to go to advanced settings port forwarding and we're going to add a port forward. Now I'm going to do this manually to show you guys who don't have Xfinity because with Xfinity they make it super easy. I'm going to select my PC. In this case you're going to need to type in, it'll ask you for an IPv4, that's your PC. Mine, because I use Xfinity, it knows who my PC is already just by name rather than number, but you're going to type in the 10.0.0.1.3.3 where it asks for your IPv4, all right? Now we don't need that anymore, so we can close that. Next thing, I'm going to select manual setup because um, like it has an option for Minecraft here, and it pretty much does the same thing, but we're just going to do manual setup. Now the port number, you want to make sure the protocol is T TCP and UDP, all right? Now for the port, you're going to put in 25565, all right? That's Minecraft's port. So that's how you're going to... Um, you know, pretty much just set this up. Remember your 10.0.0.1.3.3, which for me, I just select Bender, which is the name of my PC. Um, and then you put in the port 25565 and hit apply. Now mine's not going to work because I already have one set up. As you can see right here, TCP UDP 25565. Now your server is live. So what you're going to do is go to canyouseeme.org. I have a website link down below and you're going to hit check port. Obviously, my server is running, so it says success. If my server was not running, it's going to say error or failed or it can't see you or whatever. Um, if you want your friends to join your server, give them this IP right here that shows up on the website. Remember, links down in the description. Also, tell your friends to smash the like and subscribe button. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you guys. All right, next thing we're going to do, go into Minecraft, go to multiplayer. You're going to hit add server. We're going to call this tutorial server. And we're just going to type in localhost. Remember, for your friends to connect, they can't use localhost. They have to use your IP that you see on the Can You See Me website. We're going to click Done. We're going to scroll all the way down to our server. Um, Tut server, this one here. I have three of them because I did actually mess up this recording a couple times. I accidentally ended the recording, which is why you saw a jump when doing the 25565. My end record button was on the number two, so I'm an idiot. But anyway, here we are, me recording this part for the second time. Um, now we're going to connect to the server. It's going to load us in. And boom. Pixel 1 server. Here's my amazing Piplup. Level 5. Obviously I haven't played yet. This is where I just spawned. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I do try to keep them quick and to the point so I don't waste any of your time. And uh, now you guys know how to port forward. You know how to create a forge server. And you know how to add mods to it such as Pixel 1. Peace! Have a fantastic day. Stay virus-free.